Hey guys, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. I am so glad that you're here. And today I am very excited to be showing you a day in the life of our family. This was a pretty typical day. And if you're new here, my name's Ashley. I'm married to my husband, Kurt, and we have five beautiful children. And they range from ages 11 down to almost four months old. So today shows you just how busy we are in the course of a day. It was pretty typical. My husband, Kurt, was off work and his schedule can vary. So it was great to have him around and you can just see how busy we were <laughs> and I am very excited that it, this is a collaboration with my sweet friend Becky at A Place to Nest and her channel is just amazing. I love it. I'm inspired by her gift guides and she homeschools and she's also a fellow Disney fan and so she totally gets me on that level and I've loved getting to know her more not only through her YouTube channel but just personally as well and of course I'll have all of her channel info linked in my description box and I hope that you will check her out and go say hi and watch what she did during her day and be sure to tell her that I sent you. I know you will just love her. So I'm really glad that you guys are here to watch both of our videos today and I hope you enjoy. So this particular morning started about 6.15 a.m. and I always start my day with a little caffeine. This is Advocare Spark. <laughs> I have had it to drink every single morning since 2014 and it's fruit punch flavor, so it's my favorite. And I always start my day by feeding Ruby. Usually she's my alarm clock and um, I love spending the time with her and just cuddling her and cherishing that little time with her. So after I'd held Ruby for a little bit, I put her in her swing. She's really been enjoying her swing lately. And this allows me to do my Bible study time in the morning. Usually my other kids are not awake yet. And so I'm able to sit in the quiet for just a tiny bit of time and get that done. I listen to my Dwell Bible app and I will sometimes take notes on that as I'm listening. Um, I'm going through the Bible chronologically right now and it's great to listen to that. It's a wonderful app. And I'm also doing Beth Moore's study of David and David is my favorite character in the Bible and so I've loved loved this study and this is a vital part of my day and I wouldn't miss it <laughs> and since my other kids were still sleeping a little later than usual I went ahead and did my morning skincare routine and I put on my makeup Good morning. So you've seen a little bit of my morning routine loosely. Um, I was able to get my makeup on uh, earlier than usual today. Luke is still sleeping, which is kind of weird. He usually is up by now. Um, but I was able to hurry and get my makeup done. So that feels really good. I try to have it done um, by late morning for sure every day. Um, I do wear makeup most every day. Um, but it always depends on like what Luke's doing because he's the one that kind of is into everything. <laughs> so since he was still asleep, I was able to hurry and get that done. Ruby is down for her first nap still. Um, and then my older ones, I think are starting to emerge out there. <laughs> They're allowed to have iPad time in the mornings. And so that allows me to kind of finish up some things, get my bed made, things like that. Um, so it's kind of a low key day today. We don't have anything. Kurt is off work. And so he went to get an oil change. 
um, earlier, so he's not here, but he'll be kind of in and out today. And yeah, it will just be kind of a typical day, which is what I wanted. I wanted to just show kind of what we normally do. Um, we'll be doing a little bit of schoolwork today because I like to go through the summer on some schoolwork. We got behind, um, not behind, but when Ruby was born, obviously we weren't doing um, school every single day. And so I like to stay consistent through the summer and do schoolwork. So we'll be doing a little bit of that and we'll just see kind of what happens. But I'm glad y'all are here and you can kind of watch parts of our day. has been having her awake time. She was in her swing for a little bit with Evie in there watching. She is now here with me, helping me do some things around my room. And I just got Liam and Evie started on some schoolwork. They um, do computer-based for a couple of subjects. And so Evie is doing a writing assignment and Liam is watching a math video. And then I will sit down and give him his sheets and we'll talk over his assignment for math. And so um, they're at the ages where they're getting into more self-guided work with my guidance, of course, but they are able to do like watch a video or something like that. Lindley is about to have breakfast, so I'll get her going. And this little one will go down for her next nap pretty soon. Um, Kurt is still not back, so we're just kind of, we're going about things as usual. So um, I don't even know what time it is, but it's mid to late morning. And you can see, I try to knock out a ton of stuff as quickly as I can. Like whenever kids are happy and content, I try to jump in and do whatever I can along the way. Um, and so if like Ruby's happy here with me, then I'll jump around and try to, you know, tidy something. Um, start a little laundry. I always tidy and do a lot of laundry in the mornings. Um, I'll talk a little bit more about this. Maybe I can show you kind of my block schedule, whatever, but I, I try to go by a block schedule. Um, I love Jordan Page. And again, I'm gonna do a more detailed video about this, but I love Jordan Page and her productivity bootcamp. And she has always recommended the block system and I'll explain more about that. But I basically just have blocks of time throughout my day and I have tasks that I want to accomplish during that time. And then once the block's over, I don't worry about it as much. Um, if I can get to it, great, but if not, 
that block is passed and I just go to the next day. I try to accomplish it the next day. So in this block, um, again, I'll show you on my sheet that I filled out, but on this block, um, it's just waking up, breakfast, my morning skincare. I try to get myself, you know, my makeup on, start a load of laundry, dishwasher, whether that's loading or unloading, it just varies. I'm not militant about that. Um, make bed, just kind of tidy around. And then that kind of gears us up for the next block, which is now kind of schoolwork. If we were gonna do an outing, it would be during this time for the next like three or four hour block. And so everything though, like Ruby's not on a, like by the book, this is what time she goes down. It's a cycle. That's what I've always done with my kids. And so the times may vary a little bit each day, but the cycle and routine is the same. So it's kind of hard when you don't know, like my kids usually don't settle into a predictable nap time until much later. Um, well, I say much later. Like maybe around a year, a year and a half old, I can say, okay, this is when they typically are down. But Ruby will often take like a, a longer stretch of nap early afternoon. And often, knock on wood, it lines up with Luke's nap time. So that's whenever I do more personal things like reading or more studying um, tasks I wanna get done where I just can't get it done if Luke's awake, that sort of thing. So um, like yesterday, I took the girls to the uh, swimming pool while Kurt was home with the others during that block. So um, it all works out, every day is different, but this is pretty typical, I would say, as far as how we do routine and the order of things. So um, yeah, and one thing I wanted to say too, I think that it's tempting, and maybe people don't talk about this on YouTube, I think it's tempting when you're filming like day in the life to try to, not stage things, but kind of. Like, I think it's very easy to be like, oh gosh, that's gonna look so bad if I film it like that, or oh man, like, even if it's how you normally do it. And so I've tried to be very, Luke. Luke, come here. I've tried to be very realistic and I'm committed to filming things as they are and trying really hard not to adjust things just because I know the camera's going, like right now. Um, so Linley's in there with Luke. They were playing for a minute, so I'm gonna go check on them and get everybody going. <laughs> Hi, sir. Oh, gentle with baby. That's a sweet brother. We're gonna go get Lukey dressed and maybe play upstairs a minute if he'll let us do that. Oh yeah, you wanna go play? You wanna go play? Oh. <laughs> okay, let's go play. Take me out to California Take me out to California I feel the day is coming to an end And my eyes are drawn to southern skies And all the while I was trying to pretend So here I am making myself lunch. I am eating the P.F. Chang's frozen popstickers and I love those, they're my favorite. And so I make those for myself fairly often to eat. And around this time too, I also got dinner started in the crock pot. All I did was get some chicken and I covered it in Korean barbecue sauce, a little garlic and honey, and just let it cook all day. And we ended up serving it over rice and it was very delicious. I've seen it all upon 
the silver screen The happy face is in a sign upon a hill The wine is flowing and the fields forever green What feeling you're feeling? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can tell you looking mad in that one. Happy. Scared. Mm -hmm. I could tell by how you were shaking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's the next one? Surprised. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, what's the next one? Excited? Yeah! When would you make an excited face? Uh, like when Mia comes. Yeah. When Mia comes to visit. Uh, happy? <laughs> okay. So take me out to California where the sun is always high. Where the streets are paved with gold and no one ever gets old. I'll be longing for that day till you come and take me home. California, California, here I come. Well, hello. I am with Evie, my oldest, and we are going to run a couple of errands. Uh, my husband's uh, birthday is coming up, but Father's Day comes before that. And Evie is an amazing crafter, and she's going to work on a couple of gifts, and so she needed some supplies. Is that right? Mm -hmm. So where are we going? Uh, we are going to Target and Hobby Lobby, and I'm going to my friend's house. Yes, so we need to get a couple of things at Target as well, so we're going to just kind of combine all that and then she was invited to go play so I'm gonna drop her off um, Kurt is with the other kids inside so we get some special time so it'll be fun Yay. so we'll check in later Bye. okay just checking in I'm back from dropping Evie off and this arrived this box is a dress I'm trying for my friend's wedding in August I'm a bridesmaid so we're all supposed to pick our own black gowns so I'm giving this one a go. It's from Nordstrom and we will see how it looks. Okay, so here's the dress. Um, you can't tell with it hanging here, but it's kind of like a mermaid cut. It's very slim through the hips and then it has a flare in the skirt. And it's for sure too long. I would have that's that's typical for me. Um, so I'd have to have it altered that way. And what's so tricky, I loved it because it has this really pretty ruffle. It comes down and it kind of drapes the ruffle drapes down the back and I really liked it because it's just a comfortable style to wear like I'm not worried or self-conscious or whatever and it didn't come down too low um, it has a little bit of beading which I think is pretty I'm still deciding on it so I don't want to like show me wearing it yet because I and y'all baby weight is just so weird like here I am in my closet like baby weight's really weird because I feel like you just can't plan, like you can actively take measures to lose baby weight or take it easy, whatever, but I just feel like you can't predict where you'll be in two months. You know what I mean? And so if this dress fits me now, but I would feel more comfortable in it if I knew that I had lost a little more of the baby weight. And so it's not something that I fixate on. Like I am adamant about not fixating on losing weight. Um, and I'm trying to make some mindful choices, you know, whatever. I mean, it's just not something that I'm super militant about, but with the wedding coming, you know, you obviously want to look your best. And so I have another dress that's on order. That's a different style, like a different cut. And so I'm going to try that on whenever it gets in and compare the two. Um, because I really do want some sort of a, like either a portrait neckline or a flutter sleeve or something like that. Just, I think I'd be more comfortable that way. But, um, it's really pretty. It's really, really pretty. I just feel like 
I would need to lose a little bit more to be the most comfortable in it, if that makes sense. So we will see. Um, and it's just kind of a complicated thing to think about evening wear. <laughs> it's like, I want to find something that's like my, this is my one chance to wear something, you know, nice and dressy, whatever. So I want it to be something that my friend likes as well. She's like my best friend from college, high school, end of high school and college. And, um, she's getting married to an amazing guy. And so I just want it to be beautiful for her, you know? So I will try that other one and just see what happens. Okay, so I'm really excited. The mail just came and one of my movie posters came. We have a home theater and um, I actually found when we moved, I found several movie posters that I had bought y'all literally years upon years ago. And I had wanted to frame them like maybe for my laundry room or something and just never got around to it. Well, now all these years later, <laughs> It's perfect. And so they're all 11 by 17 size. So I found these really inexpensive frames at Hobby Lobby. And um, it's a wreck in here, you guys. We've got to straighten it. Um, but this is what it looks like right now. The hooks were already existing. They um, The previous owners had things hanging. And so I'm just probably going to end up doing a collage of posters. Um, but for right now, it was just something I could hang it on, you know, like where those existing hooks were. So I have Happiest Millionaire, Court Jester, Seven Brides for Seven Brothers, and White Christmas. Those are four of my very, very favorites. And then this is Mary Poppins. So I'm going to frame this really quick. And I think there's some more hooks over here that I can use on this wall. They left, um, the little screen thing. So <laughs> it's going to be really cute in here once we get it all going, but I'll frame it and show you. And there we go. It literally took me three seconds and it's just a plastic edged frame. There is glass in front of this, but it's a plastic frame and I get all of my, they're all reproduction posters. I get them on eBay and um, it's the vintage style, just reproduction posters. And the thing is, as long as I always purchase 11 by 17 size, which seems to be a pretty standard movie poster size, um, smaller than the massive ones, but those are, that's a pretty standard size, it seems. So as long as I always just order that size, I know that they will be uniform. So it's really cute, I think. And so I'm going to stagger them, you know, along this wall. So, cause this looks uneven right now, but I think if we stagger, I want, my original thought was to do a Disney theme in here, but I'll show you guys. It's kind of taken on, like the basement's taken on a Disney theme unto itself. And this looks horrible, but you would not believe the improvement this is. Like, this is a really good version of the basement. <laughs> we just moved in, um, to what, two months ago now? Gosh, it all runs together. But I put together these bookshelves. We got them from Walmart, and I just wanted something really quick to put up. Um, so I put those together, and we were able to just get all... These are all of our children's books. We were able to get those out of boxes. Kurt still has some stuff to go through. Um, and so we have some Disney prints that we framed here. And then over here, I have just kind of Disney who's it's and what's it's. <laughs> that, and these, these shelves were existing. They were from the previous owners. So... I just kind of got it unboxed and up on the shelves. And so it's kind of taking on, like this is our magnet collection. It's taking on kind of a really bright and vibrant look down here. And so that's fun. And the tile brings in all these different colors on the bar. So anyway, this is turning into a little mini like basement update, but that this is kind of taking on a Disney feel. And I'm really excited. We're gonna put the playroom rug down here and it's gonna be really, really cute, I think. So we're bringing in some bright um, kind of Disney theming down here. And so the theater is probably gonna stay more true to movies, you know, the movie theme. So anywho, just a little update. Hey guys, um, so I didn't film much during the nap kind of block of time. Luke was asleep. I was doing lots of different things. Like Ruby was kind of up and down with naps and then uh, Kurt was in and out doing stuff with my dad and like there was just like a lot going on kind of individually with that with that block of time um, but 
Luke's away from his nap now. Ruby's down again. Kurt went to pick up Evie from her play date, and they're um, going to be home after that. I am finishing up the crock pot meal. Um, that's like fix it and forget it, basically. You just put it in the crock pot, but I'm going to make rice with it. So I just need to get that going, and that's going to be it. I'm keeping it really simple for dinner um, tonight. So I'm just kind of tidying. I switched laundry again, just kind of things like that, miscellaneous. I tried to watch a video or two um, with a course that I'm doing, but um, it was just kind of crazy with the kids. So I didn't film much at all during that block, but that's kind of what that's for. It's just kind of miscellaneous. I try to use it for um, things that I personally want to do. That does not happen. <laughs> terribly often, but I try. Um, I try to use that time to, you know, edit videos or watch something. Sometimes I'll fold laundry while I listen to a podcast or watch YouTube, you know, something like that. So it was, I would say that was a pretty typical day during nap time today. So, um, when Kurt and Evie get home, we will have dinner and go from there. So this ended up being kind of a busy part of our day. Kurt got home from the grocery store. He ran and got a few things and brought back flowers. And so Evie and I were able to arrange those. And my parents ended up coming over for dinner um, this evening. And so that was really fun. We love spending time with them. And so, yeah, you can see kind of the busyness and chaos that is dinner time at our house. But we do have family meals together and we sit at the table. And that's something that I really cherish. Emily, what are we doing? So we're gonna stay up and talk since it's not a little day. And we watched half of, half of, of the Lion, the Lion, the Lion King. That's right. So everyone has a special day, is that right? Yeah. And what does the special kid do that day? 
picks out the movie, gets to do a prayer, and also picks out what you want to do for breakfast. And, and a special also, time with mom and dad. Yeah. Yeah. And also, and also get to pick out, pick out what movie we're going to watch. What movie did you pick tonight? Have, um, the Lion King. That's right. So you get some one-on-one -on -one time, don't you? Mm -hmm. Before bed. Okay. Yeah. Well, we'll enjoy our time now. Well, we just finished our time with Lindley, and we had um, a really special time with her and had some great conversation. Um, that's something that we started implementing is each kid having their special night um, assigned to them throughout the week. and. It's one-on-one -on -one time. And of course, we have one-on-one -on -one time other times as well, but this is a very set in stone time for them. And it's just cute to see how they want to use that time, whether it be talking or reading together or anything. So, um, Kurt's here with me. <laughs> this is his spot. And I was just thinking that I don't know that he's made much of an appearance since the vlogs. You were like in every video over there for a while. It's been a while. It's been a while. So, um, this is our routine. We usually sit and watch Rick Steves. We love <laughs> Rick Steves. Um, or The Office or something like that. Something usually pretty quick um, at the end of the evening. Sometimes Sherlock. We watch the Sherlock. If we like have a little more energy, have the mental capacity for Sherlock, we watch that. But, um, it's been a pretty typical day. Kurt was off work. So um, it was nice to have him around, even though he, everyone was kind of in and out at different times. But um, yeah, that'll end the evening for us. We're just gonna maybe watch something. <laughs> Depends on if we're too tired or not. And um, head to bed and then do it all again tomorrow. So I'm glad you guys were able to see parts of our day. And I will talk to you guys soon.